you know what? It's just so beautiful here. Look how, look how lovely the sea looks. Right, folks, I've just um, climbed down from up there. Down to what I call Scallop Bay. It's not officially that at all. It's just a little carving out. But um, I thought, no, I haven't been down here for a while. I just, what I, all I'm going to do is um, go down on the beach for a few minutes. I haven't been down here for a long time. I don't usually bother just to walk by usually. I thought, I'll go down on the beach. You've got, well, you've got about three quarters of an hour and then you've got to head, head back. So what I'm going to do is just do a little bit of pebble walking. They used to do rock art. Do you know, I'm sure that you, those there was much bigger in the past. I'm sure of it. Looks so small now. Sun's gone in for the first time. We're going to go down. We're going to climb up the other side and then check the time again. Check the time. I said I don't often come down here, but you never know, we might find a fossil. They're all fossils really, aren't they? We'll get down onto the beach. Someone's made a, a little, um, turned that tree stump up, look. working isn't it yeah so this is Sheila I think it's the 19th it could be the 20th I think it's the 19th today of January 2023 hi old tree well, I just come through a gate up there a minute ago I just gently walk down through there without f slipping or falling and I'm just going to climb up there in a minute and to check in the time. It's just going to take some photos. Right then, another video. Scallop Bay. I've just been down there walking for a little while. Beautiful view, isn't it? Beautiful view. And I thought I'd got the humps. This is the small one. Then there's the bigger one. It's about half, nearly half past one. So I've got an hour and a half. I've got a good half an hour before I really need to make my way down, ready to walk up the beach. So, I said I'd do a bit more today. I said my breathing's so much better, you know, anyway. Um, I think the, the treatment I got from the doctor who visited me really worked. And I think I'd had the infection for months. And it, she didn't pick up on it, one of the doctors, even though I knew myself it wasn't right that oh, I couldn't breathe. So, anyway, not to worry about it. It could be that I know for sure that the winter months are often better for me breathing in a strange way. I've got a sort of an allergic asthma, and uh, January and February. And a half of March, I don't normally have any breathing. Not not really bad ones, not like during the pollen times. God, that's hard that is. Anyway, uh, this is, I'm sorry if I bore you everyone, but basically I, these are my reflective walks. I discuss all sorts. Anything very, very, very personal. I edit out. I keep them for myself. <sighs> but many I haven't even shared yet and I've even edited them. No. I haven't even edited many Sand Bay walks. But I do put the old one on. I do do it. 
Right, we're up on one of the mounds. Whether it was man-made, who knows? This could have been a defensive position. It looks like it, doesn't it? Lookout post. There could have been camp in there. I said all this could be hill fort. And the Romans would have been out here. They would have known about this place dead easy. Because they, they could bring their boats in here. Around the corner up the river. They would have been very aware, aware of this place. But of course we also got to remember it was very boggy. At one point. The flatlands of Somerset. They might have thought what's the point of going over there. We can't keep getting stuck in the mud. Just zoom in over there, might be able to see Sugar. I can see Sugarloaf Mountain with no problems. Now, if we get, get managed to get a, a windmill in, one of those wind turbines, if we manage to uh, see one of those, not far from there, about there, see it? A mound sticking up, just about to see it. That's Sugarloaf Mountain. And on the Quantox, there's a place specifically so you can see Sugarloaf Mountain. It's on the map over there. The Welsh hills are over there. Can't see much snow actually, no. Out right over there I can see snow. Are you going to climb that one, Shell? Or do you think that big group of people are going to do it? Something tells me there's about 10 people there and they're all going to head, I reckon, for the hill. They might even have an airplane. So what I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to cheat and I'm going over here. Because if a big group of people are going up there, I won't go up there. There's a slope there I'm going to climb. i got a feeling they've got a plane. So, yeah, they got a plane. <sighs> yeah, this could easily have been. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous around here. Not far from my home as well, you know. When I get on the bus, it takes about 20 minutes to get here. It'll take me an hour to walk over here if I walked. It takes me longer now I live the other side of town, of course. Yeah, they're going up there, so what I do... It's good that I... I'm alert, isn't it? I was aware that they were going there. But I thought, no, I wouldn't want to go up there. People are going to try and fly a glider or something. I don't know if I've ever been up this track. This one here. Yeah, here's the track here. So we're on that little hump a minute ago, and that seemed high up. They're getting higher and higher. You could climb straight up, Shill. Sure. If you want to go up the slope, go up the slope, it's easier. But I've something sweet in a minute. Right, over and out for a minute.